Hi, I'm Kevin from Corec and what I'm going to do is going to give you an overview of the latest version of Trimble Feedlink. So with Trimble Feedlink, it gives you the ability to input DWG files, SKP SketchUp files and IFC files uh, models directly from Revit or Tecla. So for this example, I've added in a 3D DWG. So this is my main screen here. So what I'll show you here is on the top right hand side, we call these the zippers here. So you can do um, isometric view here. You can also do a side view and you can also do uh, a top view. So in this example, I can go into 2D, 2D at the moment and move it around or as I can go into 3D rotate. So up in my top right, I can rotate and you'll see now I'm in 3D, okay? And I also can zoom in by pulling the zoom in and out but I also can do it by pinching the screen in and out. So from this here, I just have a quick little model. So if I wanted to see this in a solid state form, I can go down to the bottom right of my screen, go into my settings, and from there, I can put it in a solid at the very bottom of the thing, screen. So I can click on that, now it's in solid state. I can go to a black background, or I can go to a white background. Okay, and then I can also go to blueprint, and then I can unselect the solid state also. So from this, I want to instantly create points to start uh, setting out this model. So what I can do is go straight up into the Create tab and create directly from the model. So if I go into the model, it gives me the options here on the left hand side. So here I can make a box and compute points within a box. Uh, this little one uh, is a compute from everything I can see on the screen and this is the deselect. So if I wanted just endpoints, and I wanted to do a box around all the endpoints to create them around this uh, icon here. So what I can do is uh, move around here, click on my box, and make a box around this little model here. And instantly it creates all the endpoints straight around my icon here. So if I say, no, nope, I don't want to do any of them, I want to deselect them, I can click on the deselect button and it'll all deselect. If I want to do all these points, I'm doing all the endpoints there in this job, and instead of having to select each one of them one by one, which you also can do, I can hit the I and it'll actually create the points instantly from what I can see. So if I'm happy, I want to do all them today, and that's what I'm going to set out, I can instantly hit the page button and call them point one to whatever amount of points I've created, description, I'm going to call it Korak, and on layers, I'm going to put it on a new layer called Korak but I can also add it to existing layers. So by hitting the page here, I go back up to my screen and it tells me 533 points are ready for setting out from the model. So I hit create and it instantly creates all my points for me there and then. If I want to any stage just isolate that points file I don't want to see drawn in the background, I can hit the zipper down here and go into my layers. And in there I can isolate all the layers so this indicates that it was on a default zero layer my model and it indicates that there were line work and here I instantly created points. So if I wanted to isolate just the model on its own I can click on it, it'll tell you the layer it's on and I can filter it and turn on just that layer on its own. If I wanted to untick that layer and just show the points I can also do that as well. From, from there I can deselect the layers, filter the layers. So if I go into my layers and turn them all on again, so I unfilter and put them all on, they're all back again. And from there I can actually add layers and filter layers as well. So that's just creating from a basic model in Trimble Feedlink. Um, so from there I can connect to my total station and set out my model.